guys, Ace Poker here. Just posted vlog number seven. Uh, we're starting off this $20,000 bankroll challenge, minus $800, so not the way I wanted to start out, but I'm back on my grind today. It's Sunday, March 20th. I'm headed to parks now, it's 3 p.m. I'm gonna play like a nice four to 10 session, you know, nice little three hours break, dinner, then three hours again. So hopefully we can get back up over the zero mark and into the positives and get a nice start to the $20,000 challenge. Definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you guys and let's get to the felt. All right, thanks for tuning in. Let's get started off with Jack 10 offsuit. There's a raise to 20, one color before me and I decide to complete. We see a beautiful looking flop in King Jack Jack rainbow. The first player checks, I decide to check, and the initial raiser bets 25. To my surprise, the next player flat calls, and I decide to flat call as well, kind of setting a trap, hoping to see a brick turn and get some more money in. We see a turn of a queen, which puts the board a little bit more connected. First player checks, now I decide to lead out for 50, which should look really, really weird as I just check called flop, and now I'm leading out the turn. The initial raiser folds, and it's back to the next player, who decides to raise it up to $125. And honestly, I am hating this spot. I definitely wanted to fold, which you guys might think I'm crazy for, but there's really not many bluffs for him to have here. He can easily have king jack, can easily have queen jack, can easily have ace 10 first trait, could even have 9 10 first trait. So much beats me, I don't think there's any any value raises to be honest i can't remember if there was a flush draw on board so maybe that could be a raise but i really don't even think this opponent would raise a flush draw so i'm hating this spot but nothing i can do but proceed with a call we see a complete brick on the river a three and now my opponent just lays a price that i cannot fold you're gonna hear me say you definitely have me beat he bets 125 dollars and i cannot fold I definitely am hating this spot, but I proceed to call and my opponent shows ace jack. So this downswing is just going down even further. Every session we play, we're just getting coolered and poker is not fun right now, but we have to keep moving along. Moving along we do as I pick up pocket threes on the button and call a raise to $25. We see a beautiful flop of 10-6-3 with two hearts and my opponent leads right out for $30. I keep it small and raise to $75 as I would definitely play flush draws like this maybe raise a 10 to see where I'm at to deny equity from king queen ace king something like that and I'm hoping my opponent has an over pair and maybe he'll re-raise me we could get it all in but I definitely prefer a raise rather than a flat call my opponent thinks about it and unfortunately folds so our run bad continues as we make a big hand and don't get anything out of it all right, hopefully we can turn it around as we get aces and the straddle's on, so let's play a big one. I'm literally next to act, so I debate just limping the $10 and hoping somebody raises so we can come back over the top, but I decided to just raise it up to 40, and we get not one, not two, but three callers, so we're headed four ways to a flop with already $160 in the middle. I'm praying for just a clean board. Let's win a big pot here. And we get just that as we see Jack 8 2 Rainbow. Buckle up. Two players check to me, and I decide to bet out for $60 here. The next player folds, the next player calls, and the player after that calls as well. So now we're headed to a massive pot looking for a clean turn, and we get what looks like a clean turn in the Four of Spades. Now I have to decide on what I want to bet. I decide to go on a sizing of $165, the next player quickly folds, and I'm looking for the next player to not let me down, to give me some action, and action is what we get as he jams all in, and it's not a small amount either, it's for $750 more dollars. Wow. Let's think about this. I am immediately disgusted, I, I am hating this spot because I just feel like I can never, never, ever just get a clean run out. I can never just win a normal nice size pot bet and take it down. And honestly, I don't know what to do here. 
Let me take you guys through my long, long thought process as I thought about this for four to five minutes, which doesn't seem like that long, but in poker, that's an eternity, and it's easily the longest I've ever thought about a hand live. I usually like to make my decisions quick, but this one's going to take some thinking. Immediately, right off the bat, there's a spade flush draw, and looking back at our hand, we have the ace of clubs, ace of hearts, so we block the ace high flush draw, so he definitely could have ace jack of spades, that is a very likely hand. He was the last caller preflop, so I think definitely jack eight suited in his range, the only two combos would be jack eight of hearts or jack eight of diamonds. He easily could have pocket eights, pocket twos, as he was an older gentleman, not the super super tight gentleman, but more of the knit type, as he's only putting his money in when he's ahead and has a really good hand, so I think he would definitely, obviously just call pocket twos, but I think definitely also call pocket eights, he wouldn't want to blow a huge pot with pocket eights, as if he raises and then I just jam, he's in a horrible spot and will probably have to fold pocket eights. He definitely could have king jack suited, queen jack suited. King 10 suited, obviously all of spades, 9 10 suited as well. So here are my options here. I think he's either got A, Jack 8 suited, Pocket 8s, Pocket 2s, in which I'm obviously crushed, or he's got Ace Jack suited, King Jack suited, Queen Jack suited, 9 10 suited, in which if I'm lucky enough that if I call and he has those hands, I still have to fade probably roughly 15 to 20 outs, which is a lot. You know, I might only be like 65% to win and he's got, you know, 35% equity. And I think I would literally lose my mind if after a long, long tank, I call and he's got one of those hands and then we run the river and he wins. <laughs> um, to put this into perspective, to give you guys a little bit on where my head's at here, I lost the trips hand that you guys saw earlier. I had lost another trips over trips hand. And honestly, the last couple times I've been playing poker, I've been getting crushed. And, you know, I have $750 left in my stack. I really don't want to just tilt and call and have him have pocket eights, pocket twos, jack eight suited, and lose and go home annoyed as fuck, to be honest. So after a long tank, I decide to just fold and live to see another day. I posed this question on Twitter, and the responses I got from you guys were pretty awesome. I'm going to put some of them on the screen here. I love the feedback, um, I love hearing from you guys, I want you guys to comment whatever you think, if you think that was a horrible fold, if you think I suck, please leave any comment, because listen, in life you have to be able to take constructive criticism, not just in poker, but in life, that's what will make you a better person, better poker player, you have to be able to listen to what people say and learn from it, not just get annoyed, I promise I won't just say fuck you in the comments, I'll like and thank you for any comments, even if you comment saying that I suck, <laughs> I appreciate it all, trust me, please leave your feedback, I love it, and we're on to the next hand, even though this is super, super frustrating. Picking up the action a little bit late here, I decided to 3-bet King Queen suited to $75 and get one caller. We see a nice looking board in Queen 5 3 Rainbow. Checks to me, I decide to bet $50 and my opponent folds, so it looks like people can just see my cards today and we are not going to get any value when we make hands. Picking up on the action late here, I'm in the big blind with Jack 8 offsuit. Basically, the whole table limps and the button decides to make it 15. I call and two others call as well. We see a good flop in Jack Jack King, so finally I'm hoping to make some money back here. I check, everyone checks, it gets back to the original Razor and he decides to continue for $15. I decide to just call and to my surprise so does the left player as well. We see a good looking turn in a 6. I check again, next player checks, and now the original Razor bets out for 80. So nothing to do here again besides just call, I don't want to raise and blow him off a hand. The next player folds. And we are headed to a river, which looks good. It's a three. I check, and the button snap checks back, and I'm expecting to win here until he turns over ace jack again. Trips over trips for the second time this session, and yeah, that'll do it. I am going to cash out and head to the cashier. Yet again, another frustrating session. Oh, also, one more hand to just add a little bit of salt to the wound. We pick up Ace Jack. 
Maybe we could win with it? There's an early open to 30. I decide to 3-bet this in position to $80, looking to maybe play a nice pot here. Definitely want to 3-bet a little bit of a wider range on the button as you'll be in position. My opponent asks how much I have in my stack. I tell him about $500, and he goes all in. We fold, and yeah, now we are done. <laughs> While the in-person felt hasn't been too nice to me, the online felt has been treating me really nice. I'm in an awesome Poker Bros Club. I want you guys to come play with me, win some money. Here's the referral code. Message me on Twitter if you've got any questions. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'm on the run to 1,000 subscribers, so definitely help me out. Hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.